Many of the options found in the View Properties palette can be found in the View Control Bar. First, let's change the detail setting. Choose Fine, and notice that with this level of detail, the columns are visible in the view. Now, let's change the detail to Coarse, and notice that the structural components disappear. We can also change the display style. First, try Wireframe, which shows all the lines in our model. Now, let's try Hidden Line, which only shows the closest lines while hiding the lines that are in the background. Now, try Shaded, which colors the view. Next, let's choose Shaded with Edges, which clearly adds edges to the shaded view. Select the Consistent Color option, which displays colors without shading. Finally, let's try the Realistic Visual Style, which accurately displays the color, pattern, and texture of the materials being used. Now, click on the second floor plan view. We can change the same options in the plan view as we have done in the 3D view. We will start by changing the detail from coarse to fine and notice the complexity that appears in the elevator component. Finally, change the visual style of this view to shaded with edges. The graphics display options can be found in the view properties or in the view control bar. Open the graphics display options. Choose the cast shadows options and select OK. Shadows will now be displayed. We can toggle shadows on and off in the view control bar. Once again, open the graphic display options. Select sun setting. Revit automatically places the sun from top right, so we will change this option to top left. Select OK twice and notice that the direction of the shadows has changed. Open the graphics display options and select sun setting. There are three options that will let us choose a location for our model. First, select Still. This will allow us to choose a location, date, and time for our model in order to cast accurate shadows. Select OK twice to see these changes. Now, in Sun setting, choose Single Day. Once again, we can choose the location, date, and time settings for our model. Now, instead of turning shadows on and off, we can turn case studies on and off. We can also preview this single day case study. If necessary, we can also export these case studies into another program. In a 3D perspective view, let's open the graphic display options. Select the gradient background option. Let's choose new colors for the sky and horizon to resemble the evening sky. Using a 3D view, open the graphic display options and notice the different silhouette styles. We can also view the properties of each of these styles. Choose Wide as our new silhouette style and select OK to apply this change. Now notice that the edges of our model have all been turned into thick black lines.